In this video, I will show you how to connect your Samsung Galaxy A25 uh, to a computer, laptop or Mac so you can transfer image files, movies and stuff like that. Uh, for that, you'll need uh, the cable to do that and this is the same cable that you use to charge your device. Plug it in obviously, in your device as well and a pop-up like this will appear as you unlock your phone. Make sure you unlock your phone basically if you have some security on it. So uh, a pop-up like this will appear. So we need to click allow. This is basic Android security and if we don't do this <laughs> nothing really will happen. Anyway, if this pop-up doesn't uh, show, sometimes it doesn't really show, then uh, we have to go to our top of the screen and swipe down where you can see our notifications basically and uh, check this uh, it will show most likely usb for charging if it's not showing that prompt so click this usb and tap once more for more options and then you need to basically make sure this is selected uh, for transferring files uh, if this isn't yeah selected nothing really will happen then uh, if for some reason you don't really see this uh, log or you don't see that notification pop up here then uh, there's most likely something wrong either with your uh, cable or the phone port the most common cause uh, why it wouldn't work is uh, maybe uh, there's something stuck inside your phone port maybe some lint from your pocket and again, even if uh, your phone charges, it doesn't mean it uh, will have good enough connection for file transfer. And so <laughs> we, there are ways you can clean it. If you actually check out uh, my other videos, I have a full guide on how to do that. Anyway, uh, if you first obviously power off your phone, take a small needle and you can clean it that way. Uh, and also you can take uh, basically a paintbrush like this and take a few strands like this and place inside the hole of your phone as you hold it like that and simply brush out any junk that might uh, be stuck in there. Also a good tool is an air blower like this that can blow in a lot of uh, air force basically in and blow out all the junk. This is very useful as well. Then if your phone port looks uh, decent and it's clean, then perhaps there's something actually wrong with your cable. And uh, if uh, this is not even the original cable that came uh, with the phone, uh, yeah, sometimes they don't really even work for that. So you have to basically uh, try another cable. And again, even if uh, this cable works for charging the phone and the charge is okay, it doesn't mean that it'll work for the file transfer. So either try to clean the port or try another cable. These are the most common problems really. Okay, and then when it's successfully connected uh, on the Windows laptop, for example, uh, to access your uh, files, you can go to this PC or whatever. It might be called a bit different on it, depending on your Windows version, but that's where you find it. And then click on your device name and open it up. Then again, click on the internal storage. And for example, uh, if you want to transfer out uh, image, uh, they will be located in this DCIM folder. Click once more and let all these images load basically. If you have uh, a lot of images on your uh, phone, it will take some time to actually load, maybe even a few minutes. And it's important that you actually wait till that process finish. A green bar here will appear as it's loading on Windows at least. If you try to touch this image before it has finished the loading process and if you touch them basically the whole process will hang up so it's important to yeah wait basically. Then you can simply select the image you want to copy and click copy and then we can make a new folder on our desktop maybe somewhere and simply click paste and the image will be transferred to your uh, device basically and that's it so what if for example you want to transfer maybe some uh, movies or music to your phone so you can watch or listen on the phone then you go again to this main where are there all the folders listed and for movies you got even folder here also for music so 
we need simply <laughs> drag and drop them inside here. So, for example, I got a Simpsons episode here, and if I drag the movies, it, uh, yeah, it will copy on your phone, and you'll be able to uh, view it on your phone. So, that's how you do file transfers on the Samsung Galaxy A25, A15, and uh, basically all other uh, Samsung A-series phones. If this is helpful, make sure to hit the like button.